Hello, hello friends, Kim here and welcome on back to my happy place. I am going to be showing you my latest completion today you guys and she is a large one so she is definitely not going to fit fully onto the screen but as always I will pan her up and down so welcome you guys if you are new to my channel and you are checking out this review video for the first time please consider subscribing to those of you who don't know I also have a diamond painting um, Facebook page and it goes by the same name as this channel it's called my happy place with kim e please head over to facebook and follow me there i do share diamond relating uh, or related content there and i show you guys kits that i'm working on or kits that i plan on buying and we generally have a safe space to chit chat um, on that page so definitely head over there if you're keen right guys today's video as you probably saw from the thumbnail is a reveal and review video of a kit from Diamond Art Club called Red Moon. So I really don't think I need to do any big length, lengthy intro or anything like that. So let me reveal this gorgeous finish to you. And then I will take you through some aspects of working on this canvas and how I found the experience. So you guys, here you go. Oh, like I said, she's a big one. Ta-da! <laughs> Okay, gang, let me just get to the top here and then I am going to push her up and down so that you guys can get a nice feel for her. While I'm doing that, I will indeed give you some stats. So this piece, like I mentioned, is from Diamond Art Club. It is called Red Moon. Sorry, I do have to bend her there just so that you guys can see the bottom um, because the top of the canvas is now against my wall. So, <laughs> so I have to do this. Anyway, it's Diamond Art Club. It's called Red Moon. The artist is Roy Trin. Um, this one is in the size 55.8 centimeters times 83.7 centimeters. It's a square drill diamond painting. It came with a total of, oh, I didn't write that in my logbook, 65 colors, a total of 65 colors. It had two ABs, two crystals, and two fairy dust drills. So hopefully you guys are getting, you know, a good idea of just how gorgeous this finish is. I do know that it is difficult to, you know, really get a feel for pieces like this when I'm just showing them to you like this and I can't get the full diamond painting um, into frame. So what I'm going to do around about here somewhere is I'm going to insert a photograph, obviously, of this canvas taken from a distance and taken from, you know, a little bit further away so that you guys can get the full effect of what she looks like when she's finished and if you were to hang her up anywhere in your house this is what you would be seeing so hopefully you guys have gotten a good look at her now with this photo okay so then moving on you guys let me start with the actual review itself well firstly i'm going to start off by saying i absolutely loved working on this piece I had so much fun with her, but we will get more into that during the review. There are a few headings that I'm going to very quickly just skim over because they don't really require any detailed discussion. Firstly, starting off with the kitting up. In this specific kit, I can only say it was average because unfortunately there was a lot of static. I actually had to use my anti-static spray. What I tend to do, for those of you who don't know how to deal with static, there are a lot of different theories out there i've tried basically all of them including putting the drills in the freezer which i found just made zero difference to the static what i have done is i've bought an anti-static spray and then i use little cotton earbuds and i will spray onto the one side of the cotton earbud and then i will just put you know or run that cotton earbud through the drills in each little container so once I've managed to get the static key drills into the container, I then spray the earbud and I move the earbud around inside the drills, close the container, shake it up, and that seems to work. That has worked for me. Does it work 100%? No, not really, but it works very well. Probably 90 to 95% of the static goes away and I'm able to work with my drills. So I did have to do that in this specific kit. So yes, I would say the kitting up process was only just um, average because of that. 
Um, talking about the canvas itself, really excellent. You guys know um, Diamond Art Club have a lovely quality canvas. It is very soft. It is very f uh, plush. It is velvety. I didn't have any creases or wrinkles. And also, obviously, Diamond Art Club does the, um, the scalloped edges and the poked holes. So you won't be getting any fraying and you won't get bits of the canvas material onto your your glue and onto your drill field so nothing to complain with that as for the symbols again absolutely perfect i never have problems with diamond art club symbols for me they are always absolutely crystal clear and this kit was another one where the symbols were absolutely perfect diamond art club does indeed use black printing on light backgrounds and white printing on darker backgrounds and so the symbols are always clear I'm someone who always uses a light pad, but if you didn't want to use a light pad, you would not need to with this kit. Um, you could see these symbols perfectly clearly, no light pad was needed. Um, then moving on to the drills. Okay, the Diamond Art Club square drills, you guys, are just fantastic. I've said this a million times, but I'm going to say it again in case there are any new people watching this video. I only really gravitate towards square drills from two companies. Diamond Art Club is one and Evermoment is the other one. Now this canvas was no exception. The drills were absolutely fantastic. They fitted together perfectly. Even now as I'm running my hand over this canvas, there is zero popping. And as I'm looking down at it, also zero gapping. Um, these drills are so nicely lined up basically that my lines are all really straight and that is because the drills fit together so well now having said that the strange thing was that I didn't actually get that clicking noise that's what I'm gonna gonna call it you guys know when you put squares into place that are quite tight you get that lovely well I think it's lovely that clicking or popping sound some people call it a popping sound. I have before, but it's more a clicking sound. It's the drills clicking against each other as they fit into place. Strangely enough, I don't tend to get that very often with my Diamond Art Club kits, and I didn't get it with this kit. That's a pity because I, <laughs> I love hearing that sound. I didn't really get that sound with this kit, which says to me that these drills are so well made because they are not too tight, but yet when you put them into place, there's also no gapping. So because they're not too tight, you don't get the clicking sound, but that also means that the end result, you know, is fantastic. But yes, you don't get the joy of hearing that clicking sound. I'm not going to say never. I maybe got it a few times in this entire canvas and this canvas is large. So Nothing turns on that. I'm just noting that to say that it may be that there is a tiny bit of space between the drills when you place them. And that is why you're not getting the clicking sound. But the end result, the drills are all perfectly lined up next to each other and there is no gapping. So really, guys, these drills, fantastic. I just loved working with these square drills. I had no issues with them at all. Um, like I say, absolutely fantastic experience with the drills. Um, now moving on to the rendering. Well, I think as you can see and as you saw from the photo at the beginning, the rendering is perfect. This is a large canvas and so there is zero pixelation or I would say there is zero pixelation. Um, the rendering on Diamond Art Club kits always or let's say 80 to 90 percent of the time is really, really great. They have a very specific rendering style because of the hand charting that goes into these kits. Some people, very few, but some claim that it's not their favorite. For me, I absolutely love their rendering style. And I do obviously feel that it works for certain kits better than others. For this kit, let me just pan her up and down again so that you can see, you know, while I'm saying this, you can check out the rendering. I think the rendering style worked absolutely beautifully. I thought her face really came out so nicely. She's got a very thin, dainty face, and I think the rendering did that justice. Obviously, if you go down to the bottom of the canvas, you just get more of a lot of sort of red color. You know, this is all in the bottom. This is her dress here, and then you have red roses, red flowers, and just general red coloring there. So nothing specific to really look at the rendering with there. But when you look at her, I think you can see just how lovely the rendering is. So I was really happy with the rendering. I didn't have any complaints. 
Um, I thought this turned out fantastically. The one thing that I can say is that when I held this one up for my husband, I mean, he was ooing and aahing over it and he did say how beautiful it is. But the one thing he did mention is, wow, there's a lot of background. Now, there is. If you look at the top section here, there is a lot of background, which... I don't normally love just because it's almost like a little bit of a waste. I always prefer my diamond paintings and images to be more focused and zoomed in. But that's not a criticism. That is what this art looked like. This is how the artist Roy Trin, um, I don't want to say painted because I don't know if he painted this piece. But this is how he created this piece with all this background. So, I mean, if you've seen some of his other pieces, they also do have a lot of background. So, yeah, that is just to note that obviously, you know, there was quite a lot of background. But I didn't mind that because it also gave nice areas of color blocking. So let me come to that then in my final thoughts. Um... I had so much fun working on this piece, you guys. I did not get tired of it for two seconds. There was such a good balance of color blocking, line blocking, and confetti that I just loved every minute of this. It also just has the most gorgeous red and orange colors in it. I'm sure you can see that. And I, I, I don't really know what it was about this. I think it was just the fact that there wasn't there wasn't hectic confetti in the traditional sense like you get with some, some stores. Even in the more confetti areas like her hair and her face and around these areas, it was still manageable. And then obviously in the red sections and in the background, let me just show you here again, these red sections here, there was lots of line blocking and lots of color blocking, but in a way that I didn't get bored. Like I know some people don't like huge big areas of color blocking because they find they get bored. Now, what I can tell you is that these were not huge big areas because it's not like the entire section over here was one red color. You were constantly using different shades of reds and oranges, a little bit of yellows, sometimes a very dark, deep purple. And so you were getting the stimulation of changing your drills and your colors, but you weren't getting bored. So this is one of... The, the Diamond Art Club paintings that I have enjoyed working on the most. I just really, really loved it. As for the fairy dust drills, well, I'm not going to say too much about that. You guys know how I feel about fairy dust diamonds. I actually don't see them as any different to normal drills. Like when I look down at the canvas now, I can see the ABs, I can see the crystals, I can't see the fairy dust. Because to me, the fairy dust diamonds look very much like other diamonds. Unpopular opinion, I know, because some of you go crazy for the fairy dust drills. To me, I can take them or leave them because I don't notice them when they're on the canvas. The crystals, I thought, were nicely used. However, I do feel that crystals are a difficult drill to use because they are so different to the other drills that they really do stand out, which can sometimes be a good thing and not such a good thing. For example, here in this piece, there are crystals around the top of her head over there and then also over there. And then there's one line of crystals that comes down here. I'm not sure about this line that comes down here because you don't have it on the other side. So it's just this sparkly red line that comes down here. I'm not sure I would have done that. I maybe would have just done the crystals at the top here. I don't know if they're in a bow or something like that, but I think that looks quite nice. I'm not sold by the crystals down the one side here. And then there are silver crystals, just, I mean, there's some there on the top of her face. There's some in her earrings. Okay, I like the ones in her earrings. But then there are also some, like, on the top, like, top of my finger there, just in the background. Just, like, a row of, like, eight crystals there, which I don't really understand. So, the crystal placement and use of crystals, again, I'm not necessarily always the hugest fan of crystals, but I did like the ABs. Now, I don't specifically like working with ABs. I find them difficult to work with because they tend to pull the glue out of my pen. But that aside, I really did like the ABs and the placement of them in this kit. There are quite a few orange ones coming down here on the side and into these orange flowers or orange roses. And the ABs, I really did think, looked very, very nice and were well charted. You know, I'm just someone who's probably, if I'm very honest with myself and with you guys, not the hugest fan of blinging up canvases. You know, I just find, like I've already said, the crystals are so stark and stand out so much that you have to be very careful where you place them. 
ABs can be really, really pretty. I do enjoy the end result with ABs, but again, if they've been well placed, I don't specifically like working with them. I find them difficult to work with. And then fairy dust rolls, as I've said, well, take it or leave it. I don't see the, no the difference between a normal fairy dust roll and a normal drill. To me, when I look down at a canvas, I can't really even see them. I would have to pull this camera right down to the canvas and really investigate each, each section to try and find the fairy dust rolls. And I'm not going to do that and bore you guys with that. So those are just my general comments about the color blocking, the confetti, the drills, the placement of the different ABs and the different special drills. But overall, this is a 9 out of 10 for me, you guys. I absolutely loved it, as I've said. Um, it was just, I was never bored. It was just a lovely canvas to work through. And even though it was very large, I never got bored and I enjoyed every minute. So guys, if you have had your eye on this piece, as far as I know, it has not been discontinued. So definitely go to the Diamond Art Club website and have a look for it. You can do a search for Red Moon and have a look if it's still in stock or if it's, like I said, I don't think it's discontinued, but it might not necessarily be in stock. Anyway, you guys, that pretty much wrap things, wraps things up for today. I don't have much more to say, and we really don't need to draw this video out any longer. I just love revealing my finishes to you guys, because I know when I watch diamond painting videos, one of the things I like to watch the most are reveals. I'm okay. I'm lukewarm about unboxings. They do sometimes help when you're considering buying a kit, but I think what helps me more, me personally, is to see the kit finished. I have bought a number of diamond paintings where I wasn't that interested in them in the beginning or to start off with or when they were released. But then months later, I would see the completed kit or canvas on YouTube and I would think, oh my gosh, I absolutely love that. I need to rush off and buy it. So that is why I love doing these videos. I hope you guys love watching them and that you've gotten a lot of enjoyment out of this. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up, you guys. It's good for me to know that you are enjoying the content that I'm putting out. Other than that, my friends, happy diamond painting. Bye.